What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Now back with another review. Today, we got to talk about EA College Football 25 and why it will be the reason that I will not be buying Madden 25 this year, man. So, let's just jump right into it. For one, I just want to say this is what I've been waiting for from Madden something that's actually different, a true next gen feeling football game. And this is actually the only next gen feeling looking an actual next gen football game right so let's get into it the first thing that really stuck out to me is the presentation the entire presentation in my opinion is way better than madden um from you got over 100 college teams in this game and each stadium feels extremely distinct detail and there was so much love crafting to every team in this game no matter if you're the buffalo bulls shout out to my buffalo bulls hashtag bulls up you feel what i'm saying horns up actually or you know if you one of the bigger teams you know florida state Seminoles, you know, Texas, uh, Texas A&M, if you're Clemson, if, you, if you're Tennessee, it, it don't matter, Alabama, you know, every stadium feels so good and unique, and you can just tell it was so much love, from the intros to the final, to the opening scene of the game, to the ending scene of the game, it is so freaking immersive, and I absolutely love that, yo. For me, another big thing about the presentation that makes it better is the actual commentary so for you know we got two different sets of commentators and i for the life of me i cannot understand why madden of all games don't do this i don't know why it took us getting a college football game again another ncaa football game for them to say yo we need more than just one set of game commentators i think that would be really dope especially in Madden, it would be dope to have just, you know, a commentator call the one o'clock games, a different set of commentators for the four o'clock games, and then a special set of uh, commentators for the uh, Sunday night games. I think that would be really dope, but you know, they, they just seem to not care over there at Madden. But the biggest thing, right, that made me say, yo, I'm not gonna buy Madden, is when, I, when it dawned on me that, you know, college football 25 is next gen only and it looks next gen only it feels next gen only it feels really good you know it feels really polished too as well i haven't had really any bugs one bug i have ran into is you know when i'm playing friends online sometimes neither one of us can pick our plays and that's kind of frustrating because we would have to waste one of our pauses and we only get a set amount of pauses anyway so you know we would have to pause the game and after the pause technique runs out you just down to letting you know getting a delay of game and declining a penalty so your friend or you can continue to play so i hope that get patched out pretty soon uh, i would love for that to get patched out asap because that is literally my only complaint uh dynasty man is very dope i've been doing a dynasty with my buffalo bulls i love their recruiting the recruiting in this game makes more sense than the scouting and madden uh, scouting and Madden always felt like an after draft uh, afterthought. Matter of fact, the entire draft process in Madden franchise mode feels like an afterthought. It feels very half baked, very under baked. So this right here is very dope. How you recruit and how you scout your players, how you can you know give them offers. You know they got deal breakers such as if you're too far from home. You know, and my Buffalo Bulls is actually a one and a half star school. So, you know, starting with those lower tier schools and, and working your way up is very, very fun, man. Uh, path to the college playoffs is very fun. You also got your, you know, road to glory. You can pick your player and, you know, you can start as an underdog and you can start as, you know, one of the top prospects, which I would recommend. And, yo, it's just been very fun, yo. It's very seamless. The menus is very clean. Like, I really have no complaints about college football 25, man. It's just been a very, very, very fun game and really worth the wait. And I honestly think this is the first football game from ea that's really worth warranting that 70 dollar price tag day one i know i'm the king of anti 70 dollars but if it's one sports game that deserve it i think this is it um i absolutely love this game man if you can't tell by now so the commentators is better than madden the introductions to the game is better just the overall presentation is better i would go as far to say the halftime uh, is better now the game is not perfect and it is things that i do wish they could improve like a more in-depth halftime game would be dope like you know maybe you know make up some highlights for the games um that's going around in your divisions you know uh the my buffalo bulls is in the mac conference the mid-american conference so you know it would be dope to see what my you know uh other divisional rivalries and and, and teams are doing 
you know, while I'm playing. So that would be very dope, man. I, I would absolutely love that. It, it sounds good as well, yo. And home field advantage actually means something in this game. So Madden has tried using a type of home field advantage technique, right, for the last couple years. But I feel like it's absolutely underbaked. And I feel like it's kind of, uh, it was an afterthought as well. I feel like they was just trying to throw something in there just for the sake of saying, hey, we've added something new. I absolutely was not really a fan of it because even if you're the home team, but the other team get momentum, it's like the crowd is working against you. And I don't feel like that's necessarily true for a lot of sports game. I feel like, you know, especially in Buffalo, the crowd is always going to work with us. You know, now if we're just super, super, you know, trash, like, you know, if the Buffalo Bills go, you know, one and, and, and 15 or something like that, right? It's like, okay, cool. The crowd might be booing, but for certain teams, it just don't make sense to see that the crowd is against them. You know, like in Madden, if you're playing with Kansas City and you're down 14 0, it's almost like you're at a away game now. You know, your team is, is getting hit with negative effects and stuff like that and i just feel like that's pretty much that's that's dumb so ncaa you know football college 25 they did something different with the stadium posts you know on third downs them stadiums get too rocky if you're a bigger school like my homie rizzy shout out my brother riz he be playing with the florida state seminoles man and they get lit on third down that crowd when i'm in the red zone when i'm in the end zone as a visiting school you really feel the pressure of a visiting school you really feel the pressure of not being at home so i feel like that's very dope man i really absolutely love that man uh great customization in this game as well man you can throw the hoodies up you can have the crop top style jerseys man if you want to show off your abs man and i just feel like that's very dope man i like the way the transfers from school work it's just a very good game, man. I'm still early. I'm about maybe a couple dozen hours in, but I just wanted to get this review out because it only it took me less than a day worth of playing time in the game, right, to realize like, yo, this is better than Madden. This is better than what I have been playing for Madden. So with that being said, I know it took a minute, but I want to talk about the gameplay, yo. The gameplay from NCAA, aka college football it's gonna take me a while just to call it college football guys so forgive me but this gameplay is absolutely amazing yo the blocking is way smarter right the blocking makes sense my blockers is actually trying to block downfield even when i'm getting sacked the animations of my blocker getting beat on the edge or getting beat down the middle is very realistic yo you know mistakes do happen i had uh my snapper snap the ball when we was on a away game and he snapped the ball way over my head i wish i would have clipped it and we had to chase down and get on that fumble moments like that happens when you're in hostile environments especially if you're a lower ranked school or pretty much an unranked school period right so i think that was very awesome yo the way you can put the ball on the back corner of the back corner pylon or the end zone or the front corner pylon it makes so much sense and in the the gameplay guys i can't stress this enough the gameplay is so much better than madden yo like the way you receive now i get it in college you only have to get one foot down so maybe that kind of you know subs out the the non-existent sideline catching in madden for the most part but madden ai and madden just feels so stupid compared to the way these college players feel right like the way they catch the balls on the sideline and uh, and to stop themselves from going out of bounds and try to still cut up field you know even if you're running top speed to the sideline for that catch some players can still turn plant their feet and get up the field to me that is absolutely amazing being able to throw those back shoulder corner end zones touchdowns like that's absolutely amazing. Now, the one thing I will say that I'm not too big of a fan of, and it's really a skill issue, guys, is the absolute horrible kicking in this game. It feels like kicking a field goal in this game from anything more than a PAT distance is absolutely hell. And it makes games so much funner because when you do nail a 30-yard or 40-yard field goal, you feel so proud of yourself, and it feels like you just hit a 60-yard field goal, man. So the gameplay absolutely wipes Madden, in my opinion. Running feels so much better blocking feels so much better even on defense it feels better yo you know what i'm saying so for the people that's complaining 
that, you know, they can't get nothing going on defense. It's definitely a skill issue. Open up that playbook. Go get good. Get a little more practice, yo. So, yeah, man, I've been having a really good time. I feel like the gameplay is a step up from Madden. The presentation is a step up from Madden. The sound is a step up from Madden. You know, even just the menu music, hearing those drums and hearing those bands play instead of hearing the dumb Madden music over and over that they try to put in there, you know, that nobody asks for, that nobody wants to hear those ribbity rap shit like nobody want to hear that man just give me some good band music some good some good some good drums some good some good horns yo and yo i'm good to go man so yeah man the sound design is better i would say even the little things like the menus is better uh dynasty i think is better than the franchise mode i definitely think road to glory is better than whatever the hell mode madden's been throwing in i don't even try they modes anymore i won't speak on a you know ultimate team side of things because i never really been an ultimate team type of fan i always just strictly either go playing friends online or playing really franchise and and, and dynasties where most of my time you know most of my time works right and for me like I said, the reason I think the scouting is better and more funner than Madden is because I'm able to use my uh, imagination a little more, right? So recruiting players out of high school feels way better and more realistic and more possible than, you know, scouting college players in Madden that really don't exist. If you know what I'm saying, um, I'm trying to make it make sense for you guys, right? So just, just follow me. Unless you download... Uh, a Madden roster for the rookies like those rookies in there that don't exist and I know using your imagination is kind of contradictory to what I'm saying now but I feel like it's easier to imagine a bunch of random names and stuff coming out of high school you can't tell me this kid don't exist therefore my imagination is is through the roof as far as recruiting and bringing people into my school to make something of themselves. I'm literally pulling kids and recruiting kids from high school. Now, in the Madden side of things, if you don't download the community rookie roster and stuff like that for the draft, me in the back of my mind, knowing that any player I draft to the Buffalo Bills don't freaking exist, it's kind of like mind boggling. I don't know, man, it's really a weird thing, so I don't want to knock points for that, but I say all that to say, like, I really enjoy the, the dynasty aspect way more than the actual uh, Madden franchise, yo. So yeah, it's been your boy Next Gen Narrow. I'm all in on College 25. I definitely think it was it's worth it. If I had to put a number on it by itself, it's a solid nine out of ten, solid eight out of ten, depending on you know if they clean those bugs up. But if we're comparing it to the last ten Maddens, it's definitely a ten out of ten masterpiece, and I definitely recommend yo. Hopefully Madden gets it together. I have highly, I have really low expectations for Madden 25 this year, partially because when I went to the xbox microsoft store to go see about pre-ordering madden 25 um i seen that it was still available for the xbox one they still got the cross-gen bundles going on and for me personally that was such a turnoff especially knowing that college football is only on next gen consoles so madden still being on last gen consoles is very disappointing it's the same thing with 2k it's definitely time to leave these dusty xbox ones and ps4s in the past i know you guys don't want to miss out on money but come on man college football is selling really good and i hope it continues to sell good i believe it had over two to three million uh pre-orders for the the deluxe edition so people could play early so it's definitely selling well i hope ea strip the strip the team the madden team take the rights away from them probably give it to this team or form another team that's actually passionate right because i don't understand how you can get 100 teams more detailed than you can get the 30 teams you know like really make buffalo bills feel like buffalo you know make kansas city feel like kansas city make jacksonville feel like jacksonville i feel like every stadium in madden is just a different coat of paint a different setup obviously they're based off the real stadiums but it just every stadium just feels pretty much the same but different if that makes sense but as in college football every stadium feels extreme those two stadiums feel the same period you know what i'm saying like so to me that's very special man shout out to ea as quick as I am to tell you guys down, like I'm about to do in my next video about Apex, I am as quick to lift you guys up. You guys did it. You nailed it with the NCAA. And I'm extremely happy to be here playing it, yo. It's been your next, your boy, Next Genero. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.